Only two area high school volleyball teams left in the state playoffs, Blountstown and Sneeds. This afternoon, they faced off in the Class 1A region finals in Jackson County. Let's see who would punch their ticket to the state semifinals. Pirates took the first set 25-17. Second set now, Tigers trailed by nine at one point, but they went on a run, capitalizing on any chance they could. Sydney Eubanks to Emma Castaneda, who will set up Alyssa Carey for the kill. That brings the set 23-21. Sneeds calls a timeout, but the Pirates Pirates come out of that huddle ready to go. Jada Coleman and Chloe King get it to Aaliyah Baker with the kill up front. Score is now 24-22 Sneeds and Taylor Reese Howell taps it over to finish off the set for Sneeds. Score was 25-22. Third set now. Pirates with the chance to win in advance. Shelby Dawson sends it over for the Tigers, but Baker's right there for the block. Pirates lead. Blountstown not going down easy though. Cameron Parrish now with a big block of her own. But Tigers would still trail by three, and it would be all Sneeds from there. They take the third set, 25-11 to 11, for the region title. They are chasing an eighth straight state championship. The Sneeds team lost a lot of talented players last season. They called upon a lot of underclassmen to rise to the challenge this year, and they've surely seen them answer that call. It definitely grew. I mean, it took some practice. But I think a lot of us knew that we had to step up and we had to become the team that we know we could have been. We just come together and play to the best of our ability and play, we know how to play and just go with the flow, have fun. Of course, this means it was an end to once town season. A lot to hang their hats on district and region runners up a nine and nine record on the year. I couldn't be more proud of my team and how we came out and performed and we, we almost took that second set and it was a pretty hard fought game and I thought, you know, that's about all you can do, so. Sneeds will host Baker next week in the state semifinals next Saturday afternoon. They're now just two games shy of claiming that eighth straight state title, which would make national history.